Hello and welcome back to Math for Today with Miss W. Today we are on week two, day one. Let's go ahead and get started. So looking at question number one, question one says to round three and 47 thousandths to the nearest hundreds. So first thing we need to do, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to underline some important information. So it says to the nearest hundredth, and it says to round, okay, we're gonna round this number here to the nearest hundredth. All right, so first things first, I see a decimal. We are going to move over here. I'm gonna write the number out. All right, so I need to know what number is in the hundredths place. So I have the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. So the four is clearly in the hundredths place. So we have that underlined and I'm gonna circle the seven, okay? Now paying attention to the rules of rounding, remember four or less, okay, we're gonna let it rest. Five or more, okay, we get to raise the score of the number four, okay? So is the seven four or less? or five or more? Well, you should have said five or more. So because it's five or more, that four is going to change to a five. And this is what it looks like. Okay, everything else stays the same, okay? And you could either put a zero here or just leave it alone. So your answer to number one is three and five hundredths. And I wanna show you because our question said to go to the hundredths, if you notice, we stop at the hundredths place. All right, let's continue. It says the area of a rectangular roof on a doghouse is 756 square inches. The length of the roof is 108 inches. How many inches wide is the roof? So if you remember that the area, the formula to find the area is area equals length times width. Now, because they are providing us with the area of 756 and the length of 108, we are missing that width, right? So in order to solve for W, we have to um, basically conduct an inverse operation, um, which means we are gonna have to divide Okay, so that's gonna be dividing 108 from both sides of that equal sign. All right, so now we're left with 756 divided by 108. Okay, and this is what that looks like. So we have 108 divided by 756. Now we can multiply to try to figure out how many times 108 goes into 756. So let's start with maybe six. Six times eight is 48 and carry the four. Six times zero is zero plus four is four and six times one is six. Well, that is nowhere near that. So I need to multiply again. So 108 times seven, okay? Seven times eight is 56, carry the five. Seven times zero is zero plus five is five. And seven times one is seven. That's exactly what I needed. So 108 goes into 756 how many times? Seven times. So the width of the roof, we could say W equals seven. All right, let's clear off our screen so we have some more room. All right, so it looks like the third question is a fraction problem. This is one of my favorites. We need all of this room here. Now, if you notice, the fraction um, has unlike denominators. So what do I have to do when subtracting or adding unlike denominators? Well, I have to first find the least common denominator. So let's go over here. We're gonna set our problem up. And I like to use four square 
because it helps me to organize my thinking. So I'm going to write the fraction here. So I have four fifths minus one fourth. And I'm going to draw my four square. I'm going to find my LCD in this square or my least common denominator. Looking at the denominators, I have four and I have five. Okay. So say them with me. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, okay, and 24. I'm going to stop right there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I'm going to stop right there. So I'm looking to see what number that they both have in common, but it has to be the least number that they have in common. And that would be 20. Okay. So I need to change both of these denominators to 20. And how do I do that? Well, I'm going to have to multiply. What multiplied by 5 gives me 20? You can count 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5 times 4, and whatever I do to the denominator, I must do to the numerator. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to rename this here. So we have 4. What multiplied by 4 gives me 20? Well, I can go up here and see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to multiply that denominator by 5, and whatever I do to the denominator, I also do to the numerator. All right, so let's get our renamed fraction. So we're going to multiply straight across. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5. And 4 times 5 is 20. So now remember, we were originally subtracting. So let's rewrite it. 16 twentieths minus 5 twentieths. Okay. And we can subtract straight across. 16 minus 5 is 11. And the denominator stays the same. Okay. And that's it. Very good. Let's keep going. So our last problem says to write 36 thousandths in standard form. Well, I see a THS here on the end, so that's telling me that this is a decimal. So I'm going to just write my decimal here. I'm going to write out my spaces behind the decimal. This is my tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Because it says 36 thousandths, that six is going to be at the thousandths place, my three, and my zero. And that's it for today. Great job, and I will see you tomorrow.